Hello, this time we talk about Hawk Sport Brake Pads. At first, Hawk Brake Pads, why you should use them, why not the stock ones which come with the, with the, from the manufacturer, from OEM, and uh, which kinds of brake pads do we have in our offer. At first, we can offer them for all Mazda models we have in our online shop and also for more models. If you want to, you can just ask us whether we can supply them, that's no big deal. So, the stock brake pads you have installed on your car are doing the job pretty well. So you're driving, you start driving, brakes are cold and you're just driving around or also a little bit sporty on the street. The brake pads will do their job pretty well and also all the time, like constantly. When the pads are cold and when the pads are warm, the brake performance is more or less nearly the same. The feeling is more or less nearly the same and also they are not making noises. So fine, so good. So far, so good. <laughs> um, but Maybe some driver experienced when he was driving through the mountains all the time going down or going on a track day, driving the car on a track, that when the brake gets hotter and hotter and the pads are getting hotter, the brake performance is going down. You get, will get fading. What is fading? Fading is like the gases are coming out of the brake pad and are going between the brake pad and the brake disc. In this moment, you do not have any contact between pad and disc and for sure you will not have, you will not have any braking performance. So there are brake pads which are working in a higher temperature area and doing their job there pretty well also for different purposes. So we are offering in general three kinds of pads in our online shop. We have the HPS, the HT10 and the DTC60. We also can offer different or other kinds but there you have to ask us via email or telephone whether we can supply them and what will they cost. So just to exp uh, explain, the HPS is called from the from Hawk to a high performance street brake pad, so you can use it on street, and uh, it will do that uh, good performance. To understand, like the the cold braking situation, I explained this will the brake pad will do this job pretty well. So it doesn't need to get too much temperature to get in its working area. So we will have a more or less good brake performance when brakes are cold and also they are not making noises if everything is correctly installed. But these pads have a higher working temperature area than the stock ones like the OEM from Mazda and you get a more sporty brake pad which will do its job better in higher temperatures than the stock brake pad but also with not very big loss of comfort and street use usage. But also when you're going harder and harder on the track, you will see that this pad also has its limits. And then we will have the next step, the HT10. The HT10 gets the first like more or less cold braking problems where the pad needs a little bit of temperature to work as it should. But its operating temperature is much more higher than the HPS one. And then it really gets for like um, regular track day use, for, for often track day use, this pad does a job really 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 well and also here we start with the first um, noise problem so it can squeak it can make noises while driving so while um, braking softly with um, slow uh, slow speed for example then you will you can get some noises from the brake you should know that if you do not like any noises from the brakes this is not the right pad for you the last one we have the DTC 60 is a real race track pad so you really can go rough with the brakes, you can brake really hard, you get, can get very much temperature in the brake pad and it still will work. Also here you need a bit of temperature in the brake pad until it starts working correctly. When the pads are really, really cold, the brake performance is not as you expected in the first moment. So beware of that. In this round, this pad has the highest operating temperature. As I explained, for really hard track use, this works pretty well. There are some pads which can do also a higher job or higher temperature area. In this case, just ask for it, ask us via email, there's no problem whether we can supply them or give advice whether it's the correct pad for your purpose. As I mentioned in other videos before, you're working on your brake system, please give it to a professional if you're not able to, to do, install the stuff by yourself because otherwise you lose your safety, you lose your braking performance if there are any mistakes done on the brake while changing pads, doing any job, please just go to a workshop or let it be done by a professional. Also, you can come to us, this is no problem. When you are not sure 
which pet is the right for your purpose or if you need something else from Hawk. Just ask us, it's no problem. We will give advice and also if you want to have them installed from us, also no problem. You can get a quote from us and you can get an appointment from us. Thank you.